In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you Flux, the new image generator that is all the rage in the AI related internet at the moment. This image generator is made by Black Forest Labs. The reason why it's kicking up quite a storm is because you can do things like this, where you can generate images of practically anything and anyone without or very little restrictions. Here, for example, is a image of Donald Trump holding a cardboard sign saying subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Nico. Here's another one saying not ready for this. And it was extremely easy to make this. I don't know if the world is kind of ready for this stuff, to be honest. This is the first time where an image generation model came out and usually I'm excited and a little bit scared, but the excitement takes over. Like when I first saw, um, when I first saw Mid Journey 6.1, I was amazed by it. Now I'm a little bit more scared than excited because I don't know what this really means, <laughs> what it's gonna, what's gonna happen in six months down the time. I can't imagine the the chaos that this is going to ensue in the internet in the next couple of months. But anyway, if you want to try it, <laughs> you can do so. If you head to Flux the website, I'll leave a link to the, the I'll leave a link to this in the description below. But there's a couple of ways that you can try it right away without having to call it in the API, their application programming interface, which is predominantly how they want you to use it. Um, so if you, you can try it on replicate, uh, fall and a bunch of other things. I'm trying it on fall. I just really, really like the integration and the usability. It's very, very easy to use. You have to create an account with fall. Very simple to do. You just sign up like any other program and they'll give you $2 here to trust, test it out, which should generate you around 20 images depending on the settings that you place. However, you see that I've got $18 because I've just put more money into it so I can test it out for this video. There is a couple couple of models from Flux that you can try. There's Flux Pro, there's Flux Realism. Realism is kind of crazy. So once you signed up to full, uh, you can test the realism section out and they're just different and they're just different models that have been slightly trained or the settings has been changed slightly to make it more real or whatever other things you can do with it. So for us, we're just going to play around for us right now. We're just going to play around in the playground. Uh, there's the API documentation. You can call it with Python and a bunch of other things, um, which also means you can technically put this into automations like our content generator flow automation, which is inside our community. So not only will it create, not only can you create content really well with ChatGPT now, but you can create the images to go with that content for a relatively cheap price using Flux. Anyway, now that we have our account set up, we should have a little bit of credit over here. Uh, this is where you're going to prompt it. And if you go on more, you can change the settings of the images like you can with most image generation tools. Uh, the seed refers to the image seed, so the image ID, so you can reuse it again and modify it a little bit. I'll show you that in a second. The guidance, how strongly you want it to stick to the prompt, the number of images generated. And here you can see that the enable safety checker. If you use it just with this interface, it has to have the safety parameters on. Now, the safety parameters are on and I can still create a photo of someone famous like Donald, like Donald Trump. We can even try a more basic one like Something very random like a cat sitting on a couch reading a book. We've got the image size landscape, uh, the number of inferences steps, and we're going to run and see what it comes up with. You see here that it tells you how much it's going to cost. So this re request is going to cost about uh, 0.035 cents for a dollar. It's nice for a dollar. It tells you that for a dollar, I could run this approximately 29 times. So here's my image of the cat sitting on a couch reading a book. Details are pretty good. Now, Forgot to mention, here's a little quick little tip. Somebody created already a custom GPT that creates the prompts for Flux. So here I'm gonna create the, I'm gonna do a very basic prompt, a couch, and it'll start giving me several variations of that uh, prompt that I can then put into Flux. If I copy that here, it's gonna generate five, I think. Go back to the generator and paste it. It just kind of enhances the prompt a little bit and therefore it should, in theory, enhance the output of uh, Flux. So let's do that again. Take the seed out and see what happens. 
it understands the explanation of the image right away a little bit better. So for example, uh, features a warm, soft lit living room and stuff like that. Things that I just wouldn't think of naturally. Anyway, I'll leave a link to that custom GPT below as well. So you can play around easily with Flux as well. The incredible thing is that you can actually download the whole model and create this in your and download the whole model into your computer and have it lard and have it run locally, meaning on your device. You need some serious hardware, at least I think 16 gigabytes to be able 16 gigabytes of RAM to be able to run this thing. But regardless, should you have the gear, you can do this directly on your computer, which is kind of amazing. What I'm going to be working on in the next couple of days is being able to integrate this into a content automation workflow so the images are generated by flux we used to have to get the image generated by chat gpt or dali mid journey but the mid journey api is notoriously horrendous you actually need a third party integration to be able to do that so you're paying for a bunch of things but now you can call this and you can integrate it into your workflows if you want to learn more about how to do that, make sure you click the subscribe button because we'll be uploading a lot more videos of that. And not only that, in our school community, we'll be creating very detailed step-by-step -step tutorials on how to maximize this tool because it's so accessible that it kind of fits under the parameters that we like. Tool that's cheap enough to use, easy enough to use to absolutely demolish your search engine optimization and your overall marketing with automations. So that's it, Flux is incredible. It's, I think, a very dangerous tool as well, just because you can generate pictures of almost anything, anyone famous doing practically anything. I don't know what the consequences of this are gonna be, but it's gonna be interesting to, I think, I think many people are going to start being catfished a lot more than we realize. Uh, and for political campaigns, I can't imagine what they're going to come up to, what they're going to do with this tool. Again, all the resources that we've talked about in this video will be linked in the description below. If you want to, if you want to see how you can use this in automation, so make sure you give us a subscribe and a follow. I'll be dropping more videos on that shortly. Cheers.